Alright guys, take a look at the Nail Extractor 2.0. So this tool is designed for pulling roofing nails, flooring staples. Um, I actually tried it out on some 16 gauge L cleats and it did fairly well on those. Not designed to pull nails like that but it still pulled probably 70% of them. So two different versions that I saw. One just comes with this plate, it would drop over the front, keep anything from flying out of the very front of the machine. Otherwise, the I think it's the deluxe model it comes with this box that goes over the front, and that will actually catch some of your staples and nails that are that you're pulling out. Um, runs on Makita 18 volt platform, and the company had sent me a different set of blades. So this was the blades that is supposed to come with it, and basically how the tool works when you power it on. These, this shaft rotates around and these blades just barely clear the subfloor rides on these these little side bearings so the front and back wheel are just to keep you from tipping over um, this these bearings on the sides are actually just a little bit lower so in our situation with doing flooring our staples are going to be all over the place um, I did notice you know, when it's not able to pull anything off to the sides, it does hit and will bounce around a little bit, but it still managed to pull almost every one. Um, and you just, you can set the, the handle angle by turning these two threaded wing screws. And I would probably swap those out for a Torx head or something else that's a little lower profile. If one of the, one of the wings is sticking down, that's another thing that can get caught on staples. Um, made in Canada, so I'm assuming those would be metric. Kind of nice that it runs on that Makita 18 volt platform though, and a Makita motor. And you can run it from an upright position, so you're standing and one hand control, a little rocker switch that just turns the tool on, and uh, seemed to work pretty well. So I pulled every one of those staples and two legs got broken off that stayed in the plywood. So it's, I did a test on three quarter inch plywood and two layers of half inch. Didn't seem to make any difference. And these were fresh staples. So if you're doing some sort of tear out, a lot of them are probably gonna be disturbed and easier to pull. These were just shot directly into the plywood. So it seemed to do a fairly good job guys doing a lot of tear out it could save you a lot of time so do a little comparison between the blades that it comes with and the set that Stefan ground a little bit different so these would be the blades that it normally comes with and the finer set I had asked for something that we could possibly use on underlayment staples or carpet pad staples tried it on us on a job site and it it really didn't work very well on those type of staples the the wire is too fine and they just broke off um, but actually these this set of finer teeth worked much better on the flooring staples than the regular set that came with it so if you're looking at ordering one I would definitely ask if you can get this set the much finer ground um, I was pretty impressed with how well it worked because like you said I pulled everything except for those two legs that broke off. So, pretty interesting tool, and if you guys do a lot of tear outs, it's not something, not a bad idea to save some time and save your back and not be on the ground pulling them by hand or, or trying to use a demo bar and pry everything up individually.